Oh my gosh. Oh, what a week. What a week it has been. It's, it's day five. Oh yeah. More boxes. It is Groundhog Day, but we're doing something right because there's only two today. It's It's been a week. Have you been following along with us this week? We had, I, I like Monday seems so long ago. We had that wildflower collection and we had rapture. Oh, the miniature minis. Those were adorable white prints. We showed you Lucy, our new uh, uh, dog. Um, my gosh, I can't even think what other fabrics we had. We've had, and then Tuesday, there was like more fabric and I think that was scrap happy and maybe some of the backyard happenings. And then on Wednesday, it was 15 boxes of Hobbs 8020 batting, <laughs> which came in. And yesterday, it was a few less boxes, but some beautiful quilters coordinates fabrics. And God, I can't, it's yeah, I think there, we got canvases this week. Um, anyway, it's, it's absolutely crazy what a week it has been. And it, it's not over yet, folks. Um, because I've already got invoices that I know are coming for next week. Don't know about Monday yet because Monday I think is technically, is Monday a holiday? I think it's technically a holiday. Like what week is it? Is it, well, my, Sunday's a holiday for sure. We know that, right? Um, but I know there's fabric that's supposed to be arriving on Tuesday, but we, I think we'll have a couple day break here, but hasn't this been fun? We've been loving it. Jamie and with some help from Lizzie have completely rearranged the store so that um, the new fabrics are up front and you know it freshens things up it changes it up for us it makes those who only work a day here or a day there a little more confused sorry sorry Stephanie sorry about that um, but it has been a great week a great week and other than the cold temperatures but that's okay. We can, we'll survive that. So it has just been wonderful. We hope you're enjoying all of the unboxings. And we've got two of them here that we're going to unbox. But I also yesterday, sort of in passing, I wasn't really planning on it. I told you about a new virtual um, Facebook class a virtual live class that we're going to have here in a couple of weeks with Celine Perkins. And I got to thinking, I really should tell you about our bigger scheme, our bigger plan. Because Rhonda Pierce, who did from Schmetz Needles, who did the needle class in January, she, and I told her this, she not only educated us, she inspired us. What she was doing for all of us in that class was wonderful. We've all learned so much about needles. Uh, you know, it's something we use every day with our sewing, but, but at the same time, um, we don't think a lot about it, but there's so much information to know about it. For example, uh, Denise just asked me the question of uh, which needle would be best for batiks. And the answer to that is the Microtex needle because it is a long, skinny, sharp needle. And she prefers, um, Rhonda suggested the 70 um, through the 90. And we happen to have those needles online. So if you need those, we also still have the packages of needles. So anyway, it was just, if you want more information about the needles, because I could go on for an hour about the needles, uh, you can go to our website, the inspiration tab, and then then um, there's a drop down menu that says needle know it all, okay? But what Rhonda did for us was to inspire us what other topics, what other things could we learn more about and be inspired and help inspire you. So we have come up with the entire series and we're calling it the Hen House Happy Hour Connections. We have Hen House Happy Hour, our, what we call our product showcase, that is the first Monday of every month where we have the product showcase showing all sorts of great things at Hen and Chicks. Well, now we have the Hen, and, um, the Hen House Happy Hour Connection Series. And here's what we've already got planned and there's more in the works. On February 25th, 
We've got Celine Perkins of Perkins Dry Goods. What is it that we all are always trying to do? We're always trying to have a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. Whether you've been sewing for a week or you've been sewing for 10 years or more, there are times when sometimes that quarter of an inch can just be difficult. And Celine is passionate about perfecting those quarter inch seam allowances and she's gonna give us lots of tips. All these classes I'm talking about are free and they are um, gonna be virtual and they will all be listed on our website as well as on Facebook. And we're working on getting all the details up. You're gonna start to see those things come up. I don't think I have the links yet up for Gundren and uh, uh, the next one, uh, So, but I have it up for Celine. Okay, so Celine is February 25th. March 16th, Gundren Erla of GE Designs. Stripology. It's going to be awesome. I can hardly, hardly wait. More details to come about that. And then April 8th, also at 10 o'clock in the morning, Terry Atkinson from Atkinson Designs. Wow, hard to say that today. Her number one question that she gets asked is, how do you finish table runners? And you know she has some great table runners because my favorite book is from her, and that is uh, Let's Do Lunch. Well, anyway, she's got some patterns. She's gonna give us 10 tips for finishing those table runners. That'll be April 8th. Again, these are gonna be free, and they're gonna be on Facebook Live. But when we get it all set up on our website, if you sign up for the free class, then you'll get a reminder 24 hours in advance because I, I, I just had this happen to me today. I signed up for something weeks ago and uh, I was late today because luckily somebody finally texted me and said, hey, are you coming? So we're trying to provide a service of, hey, we'll remind you to go to Facebook Live on this day and see this, um, this event. So perfecting your quarter inch seam allowances is February 25th. Stripology is March 16th. Finishing Table Runners is April 8th. We've got stuff already working on for May. I'm super excited and uh, we're really excited about this, this series of Facebook Live events. So stay tuned for all that. And if you've hung in here with me this long, then guess what? It's time to open up boxes. All right, let's go do this. Let's see what is in here. And you guys, it's kind of funny. And I love this when companies reuse boxes. So it happens to look like we're getting four ounces of yogurt, of some yogurt containers. That would not be the case, although I do eat yogurt most days. Let's see. Oh, yes, it's more of the quilter's coordinates. And Jamie, right behind me are all of the ones we got yesterday in the blacks and grays. Look at these beauties. Look at these. And I know somebody was asking yesterday, um, if we can get the plastic off. And sometimes it's just hard to do that when we're on air. Sometimes they rip easier than not other times. But we'll try to give you a little peek if we can at some of these um, beautiful black and gray pieces. Um, those are all, uh, that one's called like galaxy dots. And uh, because they were on the invoice with yesterday's fabric, these are already all in the system. And if you type in Quilter's coordinates, and that's without an apostrophe, just a plain Q or plain S um, at the end, you can um, see all of these. Look at all of them. They're just gorgeous. I love the one with the um, letters on it. I was actually showing that to somebody earlier today. And look at, here's one with white with the letters in the back. And even with sharp fingernails, it still doesn't work. Okay, and let's see what's in this one. I think it's all more black and gray. Oh, yes. This is so beautiful. I think I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Um, remember the purple uh, wavy dot that we're using in our stash buster pattern? Here it is in black and white. Look at the gray underneath there. Oh, here's a great white with triangles are very graphic you know somebody this morning was looking for fabrics that are more masculine and not always floral and feminine and i think so many of these work they're much more this one actually looks like stone somebody was looking for stone the other day and different 
goodness, here another we go. side of it. Yep, and one more in here. There we go. I'm crunching on the straps of the boxes underneath here. Aren't those pretty? Oh, and they just are going to look so great. So obviously, we got more of the whites and the grays yesterday, and only a couple of the blacks. And then today, a little bit more of the blacks. But lots of fun things going on. <laughs> what a week. And we hope that you... Oh, and don't forget, if you haven't gone back and watched Take Home Tuesday, Jamie worked on uh, showing... And Lizzie showing you how to make sugar scrub. What a great activity to do inside this weekend and to make for somebody special. Uh, that maybe you need a little gift to give or something at last minute, it would work out really good because it's going to be a good weekend to stay inside and to stay warm. So, okay, you guys, we've got more fabric. It's been an awesome week. Maybe it'll be Groundhog Week again next week, but if not, we'll for sure be back uh, showing you more um, unboxings, I'm sure. Have a great weekend, everybody.